Hey again, April with April of Liberty Yoga Inclusive, <clears throat> talking about five tips for your meditation practice. And um, tip number one is to have the correct tools. We have talked about using meditation cushions, which um, you can find a link to my cushion down below. And um, if you don't already have one, if you have one, great, go ahead and get that one out. And the other, um, the other thing we have already talked about in some other videos is the use of essential oils. The reason why is because it helps you to bring the energy down a little bit so that you're not so um, anxious or uh, stressed or, you know, you're more balanced. Essential oils bring you balance. Um, and uh, hey, before I forget, don't forget to give me a like on this video below. Feel free to share it with your friends. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. Um, another tip for meditating and um, being able to sit for a long time is eating and drinking. After your yoga practice, you may wanna go right into a meditation. So make sure that you have had ample uh, water to drink Normally, we suggest that there's two hours between eating and a, and a yoga practice, which means if you have an hour yoga practice, it will have been three hours since you've eaten, which is perfect. Now, if you uh, ate two hours and then you had a really long yoga practice, you may want to have a little something before you sit. I guess the point is uh, you wouldn't want to eat a huge meal, especially like a filling, heavy, um, you know, like a burger or something. You're probably not going to be able to sit for a long period of time very comfortably. So leave a little bit of time in between when you've eaten and when you're sitting down to meditate. Honestly, one of the best times to meditate for me personally is at night, right before bed. Helps me to get really centered and uh, clear out my mind so I'm preparing for uh, a restful night's sleep. And that's where uh, the stress away, and I'm pointing over here because I have my stress away bottle. I have talked about this in other videos. It is wonderful for getting a great night's sleep. Um, together with the meditation, two thumbs up. You can't go wrong with this. Um, another thing you want to think about is your alignment. So on your meditation cushion, you probably already have a favorite seat, whether it's Sukhasana, legs crossed, Siddhasana, ankles in front of each other, knees wide, or you're sitting in full lotus, Padmasana, you probably already have um, that established. So in, in all of those poses, you are going to inhale and extend your spine really long, bringing the crown of your head, like if you were to just take a couple pieces of hair and pull them up toward the sky, that's what it feels like to extend. So you're even extending through the roof of your mouth, lifting up. Okay, let's just try that right now. And then a slight dip of your chin. So most people walk around with their neck forward. I'll show you what this looks like from the side. So they're like this. And what I've done is rounded my upper back. You want to pull that back. So that's the action of pulling the chin down and back, making sure your ears are over your shoulders, okay? And I know I'm giving you a lot. We're gonna go through it in just a moment. And then you want to bring your shoulder blades down on your back. The last piece is when you inhale, you've already lengthened. And when you exhale, you don't go. You instead keep the lift, use the belly to pull in, belly button to spine, tailbone down so that you're actually using your core. Now, I'm not suggesting that you stay super rigid, okay? There is a breath, there is a movement, there is a little dance that's happening as you are breathing and finding your way. So let's just try this together, okay? Go ahead and sit down on your meditation cushion. 
<clears throat> find your breath. And on your next inhale, we're going to increase the space between our spine, between the little bones in your spine. So you're going to inhale and extend the crown and the roof of your mouth up toward the ceiling. Roll those shoulder blades lovingly on your back. Ears over shoulders, chin down. So that should feel really aligned. Last piece, inhale. And as you exhale, keep the length. So you're gonna feel belly button moving back toward your spine, tailbone down. And you'll notice if you do this correctly that you have tone in your belly. So give that a try. Write me some notes down below. Let me know how it's going.